Hey friends, David here. I'm back in Cambodia and I'm going to visit the stand where I had my very first sugarcane juice. And this is a lady that is so nice, so kind. Chimrip Suo Takampal. I'm ordering one juice. When I first met her, she was making the sugarcane juice by hand, a hand crank machine. And this lady is so strong. And you know, she's the one that inspired me actually to get into the business. So I was in uh, staying in this hotel here. And she had her stand over on that corner. And so I used to look from the window and I'd see her making the sugarcane juice. And she was sweating like, you know, because she had to do it by hand. And it's so difficult to make it by hand. And so uh, I, I was inspired to get into the business. And then when I got into the manufacturing of the machines, I decided to gift her a machine. This is the second one that I've given her. She's gonna make, see, she's on the phone with somebody now, but she's really a nice person and we, we've remained friends now for 10 years. And uh, she's, she's very, very special to me. And so this machine is already two years old. It's a two roller. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give her another machine and she's gonna give this to her sister. So. See how that, she has it perfectly timed out. She cuts the um, the citrus and puts it in. Okay, look at that. So she she used to make these. Imagine turning those rollers by hand, you know. And she's she's really strong. So I'm I feel indebted to her, you know, because she's the one that inspired me to get in the business. And so she, this lady here has made hundreds of thousands of sugarcane juice servings over the years on this busy street. This is in Phnom Penh in Cambodia. Okay. So, yeah, she's really nice. Uh, an inspiration of my friends, because this is the person that served me the very first glass of sugarcane juice. Okay, she's got the ice. This they call it takampal in in uh, the local. So she even has my stickers on her machine here. <laughs> so I'm going to be sending her a new machine in a few weeks, and I just my way to give back because she inspired me, and so now uh, you know now we're together and uh, just been friends, you know, for, for a long time and always will be. So, here it is. Mm. Let me try this. Wow. Let me show you the cool... Over the years, I've been looking at the different glasses and she, you know what she didn't change her price but she gives more sugarcane juice look at the size this giant glass she didn't change her price and she gives more sugarcane juice for the same price than she did 10 years ago now tell me who in the world does that that's how nice this lady is you know so now she's offering me bread as well Anyways, friends, I want to give you an update from here in Phnom Penh, Cambodia, that I had visited the person that inspired me the very first time I drank sugarcane juice. And here I am over 10 years later, drinking it again here. Akon Chiran. Okay, Akon. All right, I need to take this. Wow, it's still warm. Wow, she's giving me warm French bread and sugar cane juice. It's all free. It's really, it's one of those emotional relationships, friends, you know, where somebody that touched you and changed your life. And so that's why I keep giving her machines, you know, and I'm going to, whenever her future machines wear out, I'll give her more. She's really great.